I'm Cassie Haley with Power Today at Power Generation Week. I'm sitting with Scott Tresser. He is the Vice President of Component Technologies for Chromalox. Thank you for joining me, Scott. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit just about Chromalox, the history of the company and, and what you are doing now. Well, Chromalox is, um, is a, just about a 100-year-old company. Uh, we're on the eve of our 100th anniversary. And the founder of our company, Edwin Wigand, uh, actually invented um, the electric process heating industry. He perfected and patented uh, a resistance heating element back in 1917, and from there it went into commercial and uh, industrial applications. Okay, so are you here with some new technology? We are, yeah, we're gonna talk about wireless technology. So in heat trace applications, is wireless monitoring a good solution? It certainly is. Uh, it saves the user cost, installation cost, and operational cost, uh, and it also provides added process integrity. Now on the cost side, if you think about wired uh, temperature sensing, mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's a tremendous amount of component costs, mm -hmm. materials, installations, um, and if, what, what has to occur is that the sensor has to be connected to the control panel. Mm -hmm. And quite often that sensor is located in very remote places, uh, places that are very difficult to get to, to reach, um, and so there's a lot of planning involved on the engineering side and all the materials with the conduit and the wiring um, it just adds up to a tremendous cost. With wireless, uh, you just mount the wireless transmitter and it remote, or just wirelessly uh, communicates back to the control panel. Now on the process integrity side, um, there's two different areas that we can improve that. One is uh, thermal optimization. Now, if you think about these long runs on these piping, uh, you know, the temperature at one end is typically not the same temperature throughout that entire pipe. So you can use a wireless transmitter and place that transmitter anywhere along that piping to sense the temperature that you want to sense. Mm -hmm. Also, um, safety is a concern. With these long runs and not knowing what the temperature is in certain places, you want to be sure that you know what the temperature is throughout that entire pipe. Mm -hmm. So you can add sensors along the way, take the minimum or maximum uh, sense temperature, and use that to drive the output of the heater. Okay. With all those benefits and advantages, are you finding that the decision makers are comfortable with using this new technology in their industrial facilities? We do. Um, for the last several years, uh, the designs have improved uh, tremendously. The component products uh, that go into wireless sensing, the, uh, the gateways, the transmitters, um, all the components that are involved with it, uh, they've, they've improved tremendously. Um, also, battery life is extremely longer than it ever was before. And there's a large concern with uh, security, network security. Um, well, with new technologies out there such as wireless heart, um, that takes care of uh, network security problems. Okay, so those risks that might cause them to be hesitant are being taken care correct, of. Correct, correct. Yeah, that, the apprehension level is greatly reduced. Okay, now let's talk a little bit, you mentioned monitoring but right. now you're also looking into controlling with these sensors. Can you talk about that? Right. Actually, heat trace uh, is an excellent application. It's very suitable for wireless temperature control, not just monitoring. Heat trace, in general, is very therm thermally static mm -hmm. in that the temperature varies very little throughout okay. the day, throughout the entire process. So if it's varying very slowly, uh, the frequency that the sensor has to take a temperature can be very long. Uh, that keeps the battery life extremely long. Uh, battery life is a concern for certain people, um, and so we've developed actually another technology um, that does away with the battery. It's a very exciting technology. Um, it actually uses a uh, supercapacitor to maintain the charge on the wireless transmitter, um, and that uh, transmitter pings the control panel when that charge gets below a certain threshold. So it wakes up the control panel, uh, sends a signal, says, hey, turn on that power so I can charge back up again, um, and then that, and that transmitter is working fine. That transmitter also doubles as a, uh, a junction box for multiple heat trace cables going in and out of it, and a continuity monitor. It lets you know that there's current actually running through that heating cable. Hmm. So that really sounds like breakthrough technology. What do you see Chromalox venturing into in the future? Well, we think we're on the forefront of something really big here. Uh, we're going to leverage that technology into some other distributed control opportunities. Um, can't get into that right now, but uh, it's very exciting for us. It'll allow us to do remote monitoring all across the world um, and let people know if their system is uh, in trouble, if they need to have service done on it. Um, we can help them out with that as well. well sounds exciting. We'll yeah. keep our eye on Chromalox and everything you have rolling out. 
Thank you for watching.